uh, just looking back over, at least going back, uh, say, to uh, 2010, mm -hmm. when Tom Burnaby and Janet Creighton were elected uh, as commissioners, and of course, anybody that reads <laughs> Stark County Political Report knows that uh, my point of view is that uh, these two together, one a Democrat at the time, mm -hmm. and another a Republican, uh, actually um, uh, brought trust back to the Stark County government. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, notwithstanding the positive read that most of us have on the commissioner's office since uh, 2010 uh, or 11 when they actually took office, uh, is there anything that's gone on or been overlooked or not dealt with that uh, have annoyed either one of you and uh, you've uh, set your mind on working toward a change? <clears throat> start with you. Alphabetic uh, order again. You're right, alphabetic <laughs> order, you got it. Uh, the, the short answer is no. Uh, there's nothing in particular that I can point to with the two of them. Now, are there things that uh, I have an interest in and would like to look into and in trying to help? Uh, yes, there is. Um, uh, the commissioners uh, hire the head of Job and Family Services Department, and I have not met that person yet. I'm looking forward to meeting uh, her. Um, but my wife and I are foster parents, and having gone through the system uh, and experienced what it's like on that side, having had people living with us and trying to go through all that is uh, is an eye-opening experience. And so, and that's a major county service. It's one of the largest budgets in the county. And so is that uh, jobs and family services? That's job and family services. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I have a perspective there and an experience there that uh, was not the most pleasant. Um, and so I'd like to look and see if there's a way to make that more pleasant for the for the residents of our county. Um, so that's one area that I think there's an opportunity, and not so much that the it's the necessarily the job of the commissioners to to do all this. Um, but it's certainly an opportunity for commissioners to be able to leading the discussion and leading uh, and, and focusing attention on issues that need to be focused on. Um, another issue, uh, you know, not that it's necessarily the commissioner's job to do this, but uh, another issue is the heroin ep epidemic in, in the state of Ohio. Uh, Stark County has a high rate of heroin overdoses, and we have a couple other counties through the County Commissioners Association of Ohio that are looking at innovative ways to try and help curb that issue. Every, every overdose costs taxpayers $10,000. And so uh, we know that by preventing one overdose with Narcan kits, uh, we have the opportunity to save $10,000 right there. And Cuyahoga County and Hamilton County both have innovative programs in place where the government isn't necessarily fixing the problem, but the commissioners and the government are trying to... Were the commissioners involved in... Uh... I do believe the commissioners were involved okay. in that, yeah. Because it's a county-wide problem. It's not a city problem. This is out in the suburbs also. This is everywhere uh, throughout the whole county. It's everywhere in the United States now. But um, at, at the very least, we need to be talking about these issues and problems and drawing attention to them. And uh, so, I mean, the majority of what the you know the commissioners deal with is budgets and things like that, and that's obviously very important. But there's opportunities there to draw attention to other uh, social issues, also, I suppose. Would it be fair to uh, capsulize what you just answered um, as uh, using the commissioner's office as a bully pulpit? Absolutely. So, it, you know, every office who ha where you have the opportunity to draw attention to an issue. Uh, is making other people more aware of it, trying to connect other agencies. We have a tremendous number of uh, social programs uh, and charitable organizations within this county that are doing great works. And the more we can make the public aware of what they're doing, the more we can interconnect those organizations, uh, the more opportunity we have to help the citizens. Okay. Candidate Smith, your issues. Um, I really don't have any glaring issues. I, I agree the heroin problem is, is epic in this county and talking with the sheriff and 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 that sort of thing uh, we've had several deaths in our township and it's not by kids okay these are full-grown adults and and um, and some are even you know the one of the last ones I believe was in the medical field it, it's so it's it's far-reaching and uh, what can be done uh, you know assisting like judge Farshoni, he's he's one of the the leading banners you know he carries a banner for that and see, just as your, uh, as an office holder, what you could do to help. As far as any glaring issues, you know, there's always areas you can you can improve upon. Constantly look at that. But um, I think over the over the past uh, with with Tom and Richard and Janet, they uh, 
they've cleaned a lot of these departments up. Uh, discussing with all three of the uh, commissioners at the time was in the building department. And to me, I felt that if you don't have a, a building department that can move plans quickly and, and turn plans, reviews, and be, uh, I call customer friendly, uh, you know, someone comes, and I told them at the time, someone comes into a building department, you should practically jump over the counter, give them a big bear hug and say, thanks for wanting to invest in Stark County because that creates jobs and that, that create and keeps things lively. They did that. They, they got through that and, 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 and I was very much involved with them at the time, back and forth talking, what do we need, what do we, how do we do it? And, and we all agreed that it was customer service, get the right person, and they did get the right person. And so Angela's done a great job, worked with her on several different occasions, on several different issues, and it has been successful. So, um, yeah, at this point, I think, I think the ship, again, has been righted, and, and I believe that we're, we're in good shape. Now, maintain that and continue that uh, is, is always, a, you know, a balance that you need to do. But I don't think there's anything really that I would say is glaring uh, in in what the commissioners are overseeing. Now, candidate Mungo alluded to this, uh, implied it, that uh, there's uh, people don't realize. I don't think the general Stark County citizen that there's a lot of authority that the Stark County commissioners do not have. Many departments of Stark County government. Uh, have heads that are elected, directly elected, auditor's office, treasurer's office, the coroner's office, the prosecutor's office, the clerk of court's office, the engineer, you know, there's, I don't know if I got them all, but there's quite a few, which uh, for commissioners, you know, it's kind of like, I'm sure you, Candidate Smith, uh, have had people come into Canton Township and want Canton Township to deal with problems that the township just doesn't have any authority to do. And, but there's a parallel to that. Um, and when people hear that you're a county commissioner, they don't quite understand the lack of power and authority to get things done. And so that's why I capsulize uh, for candidate Mungo the bully pulpit, because that's really all that's left. Do you agree with that? And do you subscribe uh, uh, to uh, candidate uh, Mungo's uh, notion of using the commissioner's office, even though there's lack of authority, a direct line of authority, uh, commissioners still have an obligation to do what they can to move the ball forward uh, in the services of the citizens of Stark County? I agree because you use that office in that regard for the betterment of everyone and not for personal issues, you know, like if I wanted something particularly done. No, it's for like the heroin issue where you can go out and you can help your community and by being another voice. And I think that's what the judge is doing too, is trying to bring that to light. And sometimes it needs repeated over and over and over again for people to get it. I don't think they understand um, just how bad it is. And, I, and, and again, it was two weeks ago I talked, I had a long conversation with the sheriff about between heroin and meth both. And, you know, it, it is really a focal point uh, that they have to, because there's so many effects beyond that. Okay, there's burglary, there's theft, there's things to get their habit taken care of. So it, it, it spawns off into a lot of other crime. So uh, if you can use your, your voice and your, your position to help in that area to correct those things, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. 